what is up guys i do hope you're well and today we're tackling today i fucked up if you are new here please consider hitting that like that subscribe button and maybe even that notification bell and before we get started i'd just like to say that we're very soon going to be converting to our own subreddit and i think our readings are purely going to be coming from there there's been some issues with copyright and stuff um, so to avoid this I think it's best if we move to our own subreddit I'd love to read other people's posts but I don't want to step on toes and be rude etc so I think it's the easiest solution if people post on the daddy cringe subreddit with a flair saying if it's uh, choosing beggars entitled parents whatever then we can make videos from there onwards I'd love to read your posts but what I have to say as like if you do post it there then you're expecting it to be read out and I will do my best to read as many as possible for you guys. Now, with that being said, let's get started. Much love guys. Tifu by accidentally proposing to my girlfriend of two months. So this just happened. Backstory, I had a girlfriend of six years I was going to propose to and as not necessarily superstitious, I will not recycle an engagement ring even though it cost what it did. I thought it was stolen or lost, had been missing for close to three years. So what happened? In the process of rearranging my kitchen, I decided to consolidate a few boxes into the same product, Lipton Tea. I had several boxes and was going to put them all into one. Simple enough, I thought. Now with my new girlfriend standing to my right, I opened the first box and holy mother of fucking pearl it can't be. But it's the ring box. This is where my thinking was holy shit, I just found that ring. No way. Hey babe, check this out, just found that ring I lost. Not really thinking a lot about it. I opened the box and turned to her. Seemed pretty simple, I found a lost ring. Hey, look what I found. And that's when she made a really awkward face and started shaking and runs out the room basically saying no fucking way, oh my god, no fucking way. At this point I'm like what the fuck was that about? When I walk around the corner to check what's wrong, she's almost crying, saying really too soon, not yet at least. Light bulb, she thought I was proposing to her. In what may be one of the strangest ways possible, a Lipton tea box. <laughs> <laughs> but nevertheless, she saw a ring being held out to her and freaked the fuck out. Hour later, trying to explain I wasn't, and it was a lost ring I had literally just found. She and I are laughing her asses off. Good to know it wasn't a flat out no. It pretty much was though, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But to, to, to see her face, that he's turning around with a box of Lipton tea with a ring in it. <laughs> You absolute romantic bastard. <laughs> Tifu by hoarding my grandparents' pension and starving them. My grandparents don't earn much and I live in hand to mouth. They don't go out much from their house, so I help them in their routine chores like paying bills, going to ATMs, etc. I'm also in charge of collecting their pension. A few days back, my granddad gave me the undertaking required to collect the pension. It usually takes an hour, but that day, it took three. I also had something to attend to. So when I was done, I realised that it was late. I came back to my place, we live separately, and figured that I'd return to his pension the next day. The next few days were so hectic that I completely forgot about his pension. I usually keep two wallets, one has all the cash, which I keep at home and has the pension, and the other one has only cards. I use the latter one more. After five days, I was in need of some cash, so I opened my other wallet and realised that his pension was still sitting there. I was horrified and then some guilt came and then a little more. I was so ashamed that I ran to their house. I knew they'd be angry, so I bought some groceries as compensation. As soon as my granddad opened the door, I started apologizing. He kept smiling during my apology and forgave me as soon as I was done. I handed over the pension and went to keep the groceries in the fridge. Well, my guilt was gone and I was my normal, miserable self. I opened the fridge to put the groceries in and it was literally empty except a few ice trays. There was nothing. My guilt came running back to me. I walked in the kitchen and there was just a half cut loaf of bread. I knew I was the cause of this. I asked them about it and they told me that they knew I was busy and thought that I'd turn up when I had the time. They didn't even try calling me because of the same reason. I had never been more ashamed in my life. My one mistake pushed them towards starvation. They already had a really hard life. They'd been abandoned by their children who took all their money. First their children stopped caring, then somewhere down the line they did too. And I guess that's why they stop asking for anything from anyone. It's really hard to watch, and still, they keep smiling with their saddened eyes. I guess when you get old, you stop expecting from life anymore. Oh my god, that's so sad. But you know, 
you're a really good person for actually trying to help them with their, their routine and stuff. So I know feel it, you're feeling bad for that one moment, but imagine the good you're doing compared to their own children who seem to have, have abandoned them. At least you're looking out for them. And there's much respect to that. Much respect. Tifu by bringing a sex toy to a family birthday party. Obligatory, this was not today. It'll be a year ago, a couple of days from now. So everyone who is in attendance is reminding me of it. I was invited to a birthday party for an old friend. I asked them what sort of thing they wanted for their birthday. And they said, ever since I discovered Buckyballs, I've really been into adult toys. I didn't know what Buckyballs were, but I know what adult toys are. So I figured the name was self-explanatory. I thought it was a little more bizarre to ask other people to buy you that kind of thing. <laughs> Especially... <laughs> Especially since the invite for the party encouraged everyone to bring their families. But whatever floats your boat, I don't personally care. So I did some research and ended up getting them a pivot combination cock ring slash vibrator. <laughs> I get to the birthday party, put my wrap gift on the table and all is well. We all drank champagne and socialised for a bit. I've known a lot of people there for decades. So we were briefing each other on how our kids were doing, work, etc. Fast forward 45 minutes and we're eating cake and it's announced it's time to open the presents. I think alarm bells will be ringing for me at this point. <laughs> we gather around and the first present opened is a drone. I figure maybe not everyone was there was a close enough friend to ask to buy an adult toy. A few people brought their kids and spouses along too. So I presume the presents known to contain adult toys will be set aside to open later in private. The next present was a Raspberry Pi gaming kit from their closest friend in attendance. If anyone would be trusted to get an adult toy, it would have been from this guy. Hmm, red flag. I then see my present was still mixed in with all the presents being opened. Now I'm getting confused and getting nervous wondering if maybe they were joking and didn't think I'd actually get them a sex toy. Third present is open, there's a giant Jenga. That's when I made the connection. I frantically whipped my phone and Googled Buckyballs. There's a magnetic desk toy of little boars you mold into shapes. My nightmare suspicion is confirmed. I'm trying to maneuver my way to the table to get my present back without making a scene, but there were barely 15 people at the whole party, so I was having trouble being discreet. Just as I'm almost within arm's reach of the table, of course, mine is grabbed. Paper is torn off and they turn the box over in their hands. It's not immediately obvious. <laughs> it's not immediately obvious of what it is on the box, because it's just a nondescript image of a plastic doodad with a hole in it and a logo, pivot by We Vibe. I hear We Vibe is a speaker. How cool. Someone goes, how's it work? And they start reading off the box, projecting for the whole room to hear. Powerful vibrations, intensify pleasure during sex and with rumbly. Oh, and the voice trails off. <laughs> oh, sorry. We're making partial eye contact, totally red in the face and embarrassed at this point. People in the room who've known me as a school teacher for years are now glaring at me as the sick fuck who brought a sex toy to a family birthday party at three in the afternoon on a Sunday. I quietly explained the mix-up. Thankfully, most of them in the room were laughing so hard they can barely breathe. Most of the people who had kids with them were less amused, with one woman having to usher her seven-year-old who was still going, What is it? What is it? I didn't see it yet. Some of the group invited me to every party they threw from then on, and others never invited me anywhere again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. To be fair though, I didn't know what buckyballs were. But there's no way I'd ever buy like a sex toy for a birthday party at three in the afternoon. Alarm bells would have been going crazy as soon as I said, let's open the presents. And everyone sitting around, I'd be like, nope. They said, I'd, I'd have just grabbed that present and probably ran. <laughs> but at least it was like one of the more discreeter toys rather than like a massive dildo or something. <laughs> anyway, guys. As I said at the very start, we're going to be creating our very own subreddit and I'd love to see your story start appearing there. That would be absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, and I'll be reading directly from those posts. So if you do post there, it's very likely yours will get read and I'd love to do that. Um, you guys give so much to this channel. To give something back to you guys as well would be um, just amazing. Thank you very much, guys. Take care now. Goodbye.